Bruce Gates. Bruce Gates. All right, who we got right here? Nick, Nick Phillips. And who we got right here? Uh, Captain Steve Pietrakowski. 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 <laughs> That's it. Pietrakowski. Yeah, I go by yeah, anything. Hold on. Yeah, I'm going to go by. Peter Kowski. He says it good. How long did it take you to learn how to I'm say that? I'm still learning. Hold on, hold Captain on. Captain Steve. What's your name? Oh, okay. you, you heard me wrong. Okay. Well, you don't know how to listen. I didn't hear I it. said Captain Steve. Okay. Steve, Steve Peter Kowski. Captain Steve. We want to go where our rod Hey, today we're headed to Lake Hartwell. Gonna do some striper fishing. We've got a little tournament going on with the Outdoor Dream Foundation, one of the greatest organizations in all of America. They take kids with life-threatening illnesses on their dream hunting or fishing trip. We've been involved with them now going on seven, eight years, maybe a little longer. What a great organization today, the annual tournament on Lake Hartwell, and we're going to have a bunch of fun, king size fun. So you stay with me. I'm Hank Parker. Pizza Cowski. Pizza Cowski. Pizza Cowski. I got it. Pizza Cowski. Yeah. Not pizza. He don't say so he's not Italian. He's not Italian. He's not Italian. He's not Italian. He's Polish. Pizza Cowski. No, pizza. Pizza Cowski. 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 Pizza these are right here? What? It's all trees. And a bunch of them. That's, that's a critter right there too. You know, I've been working with the Outdoor Dream Foundation for so many years, sometimes I take for granted that everybody knows we do fishing trips, hunting trips, we do a lot with the Outdoor Dream Foundation. And if you've seen the movie Radio, they wrote that book and made that movie about Coach Jones. He is the founder, he and his son Brad, of the Outdoor Dream Foundation. And their goal is to make dreams come true for children who have life threatening illnesses. And so I've teamed up with them, committed to the Outdoor Dream Foundation to do as much as I can. We have an annual event on Lake Hartwell, a fishing tournament, and here we are. That is what we're doing here today. We're having a great time. It's hard for me because two years ago, I fished with a kid that reminds me so much of my grandson, Alec. This kid, this Jake Paul, Jake Fish Paul, was a cool, cool, oh, cool rod, kid. That's what we like right here now. Front rod, get him, brother. He was on Wicked Tuna two weeks ago. Woo Look here, back rod, back rod. I wasn't actually on the show. Oh, you wasn't? I don't know what that meant, but. You actually own Hank Parker's Outdoor Magazine. That's a big deal right up there with being on America's Most Wanted. I've been on them both. <laughs> Super manners. It's been a blast to be fishing with a legend. Very respectful, oh, yeah. fun loving. He didn't know you were the legend, did he? Good looking, healthy kid. All right, take your net. <laughs> take your net, get your catfish. He passed away. You get too high, two of your biggest eyes. Man, those things are hard to take. Last year, I fished with Daryl Bolt. Daryl, fun-loving kid. Things look like they were turning around. And That's two. Daryl passes away. So it's hard. It's hard to do this. It's hard to just not quit. But you make life better for kids, and you make it better for their parents, and so you keep going. Tell me something. Is that mine? Is that yours? They deal with so much, man. They just deal with so much. Treatments and, well, if you can lighten that load just a teeny bit, it's worth it all. Thank you. Go. 
Hey, buddy. How you doing? Look right here. We're going to get us a picture. You got a fish, you got a fish, you got a fish, Nick. You got a good, you got a, hey, you got a good one too, Nick. You better hold that rod. I'm trying to get you to hold that rod, Nick. He's singing line. I better get the Nick. What you think about that one, Nick? Huh? You got Moby. Moby did. Nick, you ain't, you ain't making no headway, cuz. Hold him up this one. Get him right up here. Where is it? Come on, come on. Come on, easy with him now. Easy. Yeah. Oh, God. Look at him here. Look at him. 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 Look at at the end of the day, it's really rewarding to spend some great quality time and make things fun. He's in my neck. I don't care. Do you think you've got problems? Not really. I ain't never had a problem. I thought I've had problems, but I realized I don't have problems. Good. Now, who caught that? You know who. You know who. Come on, hey. Right here, boys, right here. Gotcha. Okay. I caught that light. That, that was yeah. Oh, God. Where is that? Say fish, Nick. Fish, Nick. Fish, Nick. <laughs> hey, we're having some fun and we got some more fish coming up. You stay with me. We'll be right back. Come on, really, What's happening to my real hand? I see the lid, but it left. There it is. Oh! 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 Now, who caught that one? Me! I told you. We need to tell everybody what we've been doing today. Thank you. Especially after he did that zoom. He done me bad. Look at me. He done me bad. Oh. And you just popping that rod. Yeah, no, he was just thinking. I can't. You have women on your mind. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Hank's show is made possible in part by Luz. Feel the difference. And by Minn Kota. Soft Science. Solar Bat. And Talon. Now it's time for Hank's tip of the day. Man, Luz, Luz has rocked the world. When Lynn Reeves and Gary Remensnyder and all the guys over at Luz decided to revive the name Lou Childers. Lou was killed in the early 70s in a, in a plane crash, flew his own private plane, had a crash, and left this world way too soon. But he's the guy that brought ceramic guides. He's the guy that brought uh, speed sticks and cut down weight and understood that anytime you remove mass, you increase performance and castability and sensitivity and hook set speed. He, he changed the world. And Lynn Reeves and, and Gary Remen Snyder both recognized that. They said, hey, we need to build on that. We need to make performance products and we need to make the best that there is. And I would say without any compromise, I would choose Lou's over any rod and reel that I've ever seen or ever fished with. Everybody knows their reels dominate, but I'm gonna tell you their rods do as well. But yet they're priced more affordable than a lot of the competition out there that they're superior to. It, it, it's amazing what a value it is. And that's what I want to talk about. I want to talk about Lou's value. They make a rod and reel here that's extremely affordable. And this is a very, very fishable, comfortable, high performance rod and reel. I've caught redfish on it just to prove how durable this inexpensive uh, rod and reel combo is but it's called the American Hero, both spinning and casting. 
This is a five ball bearing reel. This is a five ball bearing reel. Both of these rods are IMG6 graphite rods. Very, very high performance rods. IM6, IM6, five ball bearing on both rods. Incredible value. And remember, anytime you buy the American Hero, a portion of this rod and real sales will go into a foundation to buy rods and reels to support soldiers when we do special events. Incredible idea, incredible patriotism, and a great way to say thank you to our soldiers. So then we come along and you say, well, how can we make like an IM-8 graphite rod that we can make a really super action, get that thing stiff enough that we can fish a variety of baits and put a really good looking guy's picture on it. A lot of people just buy this to get that picture <laughs> and enough sarcasm. But anyway, this is the Hank Parker signature and it's an IM-8 rod, both in spinning and casting and it's available at Walmart at an incredible price. And then we have the spinning reel and the casting reel. The casting reel, again, it's an eight ball bearing. This is as good a reel, I use it all the time. I've caught on a Hank Parker signature rod and reel that sold at Walmart, caught two big jackfish that are about the size of car hoods, took me an hour to land them. If you fight bass from now to eternity, you won't put as much pressure on that reel as I put on with those two big jack travails in that salt water in about two hours. So the durability test was passed with flying colors. It's the Hank Parker Signature, uh, available at Walmart, both in spinning and casting. Both are eight ball bearing. You match them up with the IM8 graphite rods and you've got an incredible combination and the price point will scare you. It's so inexpensive for such great quality. He hurt me. Now, hey, I don't care who you are, that's impressive. Yeah, this is your group right here going with you too. Okay, man. Good Hank Parker. How you doing, big man? What's your name? Tanner. Tanner? I'm Good Shane. to see you. Thank what's your name? Shane. Shane. And what's your wife's name? Holly. Holly. We even brought a net for you. Holly Sprague. Holly Sprague. And your name is? Shane Sprague. Shane Sprague. Come over this way. You're taking up the whole seat. A little fella like you taking up the whole seat. Hey, I tell you what, he's chomping at the bits, man. All right, this old Nick right here, he's the man. Uh, Nick, Nick wore him out. Yeah, he's he's right, Nick. Nick. How many stripers I catch yesterday, Nick? None. We got them all. How many I catch? None. <laughs> all right, we're doing pretty good here. What's your name again? Tanner Sprague. Tanner. We got old. Six thirty. That done caught all up. Where? <laughs> Where? And your name, sir, is here. We love this one. Come on, we go get it there. Captain Steve Peter Kowski. Peter Kowski. You see any fish? Not yet. Peter Kowski. A lot of fish in this area. Any given time. Yeah, look at them. That's exactly right. Peter Kowski. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we got it. See if they want to come. Come play here this morning. Captain Steve. Peter Kowski. Pisa Kowski. We got a monster ball of shad. You can't even see through that ball of shad underneath us right now. They're Look at them up there, right too. Oh, I know Hank wish he had a topwater right now, don't you? All right, I can't stand it. Tanner. Hey, don't go away. We're striper around, fishing, but we got some rod. spotted bass action. They don't know this is a striper show. Stay with me. We'll be right back. Oh, look what we got. A spotted bass. Woo! Oh, we got another one. Chaos. Chaos. Look here. Look here. Holly's got one. Hank's show is brought to you in part by Ranger Boats. Still building legends one at a time. Mercury Marine. Go boldly. I talk to Smaller, let me see if I can Man, you girls are something else. Look at us. We're going to get a picture. You know, the, one of the neatest things about this tournament is it brings these families together. There's so much in common. Their kids are facing extreme adversity. And so, 
you come together. And unlike any other organization that I've ever been a part of, and, and I, I am so proud of the Make-A-Wish dream catchers, the Shriners Hospital, I'm proud of them and what they do. I, all of these organizations are wonderful, but I don't know of any organization as wonderful as the Outdoor Dream Foundation to bring these kids together over and over and over again. You may go on multiple hunts. You may go on multiple fishing trips. You, you may get in on a lot of different activities because Coach Jones and Brad and all the guys at the Outdoor Dream Foundation, it becomes family. It becomes so personal. Brad's constantly texting me and giving me an update. I mean, it's no one and done with the Outdoor Dream Foundation, and I appreciate that. And how Brad cares about these families and financially and do things to work with these families in addition to the children themselves. So what an awesome organization is Outdoor Dream Foundation. Woo! Come up over to me. Woo! We're going to do this. We're going to cut that hook on it, tie another one on. You want to kiss him? Oh. You don't want to kiss, kiss him? him? You got to gotta kiss first Come fish. On. It's even a girl fish. <laughs> I don't think he's interested. <laughs> yeah, I'm not interested. You're not interested in kissing any fish this morning, huh? You got to be a lot bigger than that. Yeah. Uh, if I catch a 20 pound fish, I might kiss him. All That's right, I like that. Uh, when he catches a 20 pounder, I'm going to kiss it. Oh, yeah, Look, there you go. Now you got him. We got a good one. We got a good one. Rock, fish, 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 fish. Oh, we got another one. Chaos, chaos. Look here. Look here. Holly's got one. Get the net. 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 Got him. All right, let him down. Look at Dad. Go get Dad. Go get Dad. Go get Dad. Take it away from him. It's a big one. It's going to win a rod and reel. Bring it over to the counter. No, come this way. Come on. Yay! Yay! Yeah! We got him. I'm going to cut a catfish. How about that? Look at that. Holly, you got to sit in the back of the catfish. Now we got something going. A spotted bass. Woo! Here we go. Hey, kiss him. <laughs> All right, look here. Now we got a large mouth of spot and fry. How about that? Look at here. Hannah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a spot. That, no. that is a spot. Is that a spot? Yes, that's a spot. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, a beautiful yeah, spot. Yeah, you need to kiss that one. I'm going to kiss that one. This portion of Hank's show is brought to you by Berkeley. Catch more fish. Yeti coolers built for the wild. That's good in there. Pretty. I'm good luck. You are good luck. Yeah, let's get that other big spot out of there and throw this big one in. Look there, what a spot oh, yeah. we're calling. Look at this. Bigger one, Dad. Come here, I want you in this, Tanner. Smile at this camera. Tanner is a spotted bass guru. All right, we're going to look here. We're going to throw this big one back and put this big one in the bucket. That one. Woo! Oh. Woo! How's that one taste? Hey, catch that fish back corner. That's on that big bait, so it could be a good one. This is a good bait. <laughs> Woo! All right, well, what you got? Now, this is a hybrid. Hold it. Hybrid. Yeah, we don't have a hybrid. So now we got a hybrid, a largemouth, a spot, and striper, and a catfish. The importance of the catfish. The importance of the catfish. Tell them, Holly. Well, I caught the Tell first them, catfish, and then... I threw the catfish back. Oh, you didn't. I did. Someone threw it back in. We've got a third place finish today for overall strikers. Third place, who caught the fish? Look here. Come on, a round of applause. Woo! Now, we're going to give another trophy if anybody can say pizza pouch. Pizza pouch. Golly, man, that one ain't close. Woo! Outdoor Dream Foundation, man, all these kids and families and it, it's so special. 
This year is the Daryl Bolt Memorial. That's the hard thing about the Outdoor Dream Foundation. Mandy fall in love with these kids. Daryl Bolt Memorial Tournament. It was special. A lot of kids had a great day and we had a lot of fun. Now, if you'd like to help them, man, they, they would really appreciate that. They, they operate off of donations and I promise you, you won't donate to a greater organization that does more for kids than the Outdoor Dream. So, be a part of that, man. We, we love it every year, and I hope you enjoyed it. It, it. it was a good time. I thank you for being with me today. God bless you. I'm Hank Parker. And don't forget to visit us at hankparker.com, the place for tips, giveaways, and more. The house needs painting. Grass needs mowing. Where's he at? Gone fishing.